New at 6 tonight, reconnecting lost loved ones. That's the goal of Project Lifesaver, which was started just one year ago in Albany County. And as Jennifer Lukey shows us now tonight, it already is getting big results for local families. 24-year-old Lauren has autism. She's wandered off. She's just not stayed next to us when we're out. If we're in crowds like Albany Medical Center, she won't stay right next to me. And sometimes she'll just stop wherever she is and start looking around at Dunkin' Donuts turn around and she's gone. So when Maureen learned of Project Lifesaver, launched just one year ago in Albany County, she signed Lauren up. This little transmitter, which Lauren wears around her ankle 24-7, can help locate her in the event she wanders. You can shower with it, she goes swimming with it, never had a problem. It's not a substitute for safety, but it's just a second layer of protection. It's knowing that, God forbid, I've got a frequency, I've got a telephone number, and I can call from wherever I am and say, I can't find her right now. Give you like a little bit of a breather there for a few minutes. And at the other end of the line is Deputy Joe Geis. Just sit tight for a second while I put that on you. He runs Project Lifesaver. All right, that sounds good to me. And he's helped to locate and reunite yeah, six people with their families already. And every frequency is unique to that person. These transmitters don't use GPS. It can be too unreliable in bad weather or if the battery dies. Instead, each person in the program is given their own individual tracking signal. But as I go back, it gets even louder. And then if I, as I go again this way, it'll fade so that I know that it's now the loudest and it's really loud more that direct and all that's what I'll do is I'll walk this way. Normally Deputy Geis can locate a missing loved one within 30 minutes. One of our, um, our uh, kids with autism, um, we located him inside of a vehicle that was um, closed up and in the sun and he had probably been in there for probably at least 20 minutes to half an hour. In another recent case, a man with dementia wasn't even gone that long. I had the device on my car roof and as I was responding, as I was driving down Central Avenue, it started to beat. Right now, about 30 families in Albany County participate in Project Lifesaver, but the county is ready to help more. It's relatively discreet, and it just gives you that sense that, God forbid, you've got something there. And you're all set, Lauren. Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Good to have that peace of mind. If you'd like to learn more or take part in Project Lifesaver, you can just head to cbs6albany.com and look under web links.